What's up everybody, my name is Stokey and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to continue in our series to find out what happened to every protagonist in GTA. So, today we got Grand Theft Auto 2, which was an amazing game released in the 90s. It was actually Claude Speed from GTA 3 that you play as in Grand Theft Auto 2. Not many people know that. So I'm going to play a little trailer for you guys, which was actually the in-game trailer for uh, GTA 2 back in the 90s. And I remember watching this over and over and over again. I used to reset my PlayStation 1 just to watch the trailer now watch this guys have fun with it and before we get into that trailer please subscribe to the channel share this content hit that bell notification icon drop a like down below ah oh, let's see what we can hit today thanks guys enjoy the trailer in the city respect is everything So what did you think of that trailer guys? Leave your comments down below because I'd like your opinions on that. It's one of my favourite all time game trailers and you got that every single time that you ran the game. But quickly moving on, that is Claude Speed that is in that video. Uh, so what happened to him in the events of Grand Theft Auto 2? Well, in Grand Theft Auto 2, that trailer was part of a live action movie. So it's like a very short film uh, that was created specifically for the game. And in that short film he is actually shot by the other gang members and killed. So Claude Speed died in that short film. However, in the GTA game universe, he did not die. He did not die, he went on to the events of Grand Theft Auto 3. What happened to Claude in Grand Theft Auto 3? Well, he didn't die. He didn't die again. He is un freaking killable I'm telling you guys, he is unkillable. Uh, in Grand Theft Auto 3, it's the, uh, the first ever 3D um, universe Grand Theft Auto, and it was amazing. When it first came out, it was revolutionary, and it was for the PlayStation 2, so not the PlayStation 1, which makes it technically a different universe. So the chord speed that was involved with Grand Theft Auto 2 is in a different universe than the chord speed involved with Grand Theft Auto 3. But say if we ignore those barriers and pretend that it's all in the same world, what happened to Claude? But I do have some amazing facts for you guys on chord speed. So basically, GTA 3 is based in 2001. So Claude by that point is the age of 29 and he comes out of prison in the beginning of the game and he starts his descent on Liberty City in which he does actually survive the events of GTA 3. He becomes a well-respected gangster and hopefully he lives out his days. However, in San Andreas, uh, the game that came out after GTA Vice City, Claude Speed is also present in the game. He appears in two different cutscenes in which it makes him 20 years old because San Andreas is set in 1992. So that's a nice little reference for Claude Speed in San Andreas as well. So that's GTA 2, GTA 3 and GTA San Andreas that he's involved in. Now, is he still alive? Is he involved in Grand Theft Auto 5 at all? Sadly, he is not present in Grand Theft Auto 5. Again, however, when you buy the collector's version of the 360 game, GTA 5, you have the option to build your online character with parents, of course. And one of your parents can be Claude Speed, your father, and one of your other parents, your mother, can be Misty. Now this doesn't mean that Claude Speed is in the game, it just means that he could be a parent. And seeing as GTA 5 is set after 2010, 
Maybe he's still alive, maybe he's retired, it, it makes him an older guy now, maybe in his 40s. I'd say between 40 and 50, and there's a good chance he's still alive, and is most likely retired from the money he gained during the events of Grand Theft Auto 3. But Stokey, his outfit was in Grand Theft Auto 4! Yes, his outfit is in GTA 4 with Nico Bellic. However, you have to kill Playboy X to get the apartment to even find the outfit. So people are speculating, and there's rumours around the internet saying that Claude Speed owned the apartment before Playboy X, and then Playboy X killed him, and that's why his outfit is still in there. That is viable, but do you really think Claude can die to Playboy X? I don't think so. This guy's unbeatable. Like I said, he is unsinkable. I still think he is retired somewhere, living off his earnings across his criminal career, and could become the parent of your GTA Online character. Another little easter egg that I have found in GTA 4 is when you're going through a certain apartment complexes, you'll see graffiti on the wall. Now this graffiti will say like R.I.P, Rest in Peace, Claude Speed, Tommy Vassetti, CJ, kind of indicating that they're dead. However, Rockstar did come out and publicly said that that does not mean that they are dead, it is just an easter egg. So, the fact remains, is Claude alive? Or is he dead? Guys, in the comments section below, I want to hear your theories. What could have happened to him? Did you know it was Claude Speed that was in GTA 2? And also, do you know why that Claude never, ever spoke a single word across any game that he was involved in? Let me know down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, smash that like button. Share this video out for me. It helps me so much. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one.